Do you want to check the photo? Yeah, cool. Hopefully you've already seen the video where I reviewed this season's new home shirt. I received the long sleeve replica, the short sleeve replica and the pre-match top, but I didn't receive the authentic version as it wasn't released just yet. I eventually pre-ordered it from Arsenal Direct and recently got it. Problem is, I've seen a lot of reports on social media of poor printing and I have someone on the back of mine, so I'm not looking forward to that. And there was also problems with the Invincible results printed on the back. I think they only showed 32 games instead of 38. So yeah, wish me luck. for children champions league patch was it six years since we since we wore this six years long time in the wilderness visit rwanda on that sleeve you can tell straight away that this is authentic there's a different pattern within the material probably something to do with wicking of the sweat something like that here's the adidas logo the authentic version is plastic that's been heat pressed on I think the logo does look much better. And then the Arsenal badge. It's completely plain inside the badge. Then the gold writing and the detailing and the cannon. You can see the zigzag. I think this is probably one of my favorite things of the authentic shirts. There's no standout changes that I can see compared to the replica. Oh yes, of course, the, the Adidas. Well, saying that, the Adidas stripes before were heat pressed on but now they're still material, but they feel a lot heavier than the other replica version. Collar looks the same as the replica version, and it's definitely got that 0304 Invincibles look. Sleeves look the same, except for the, the sort of pattern within the material that you can see. I don't know what that pattern the material is, is for, what it's based on, where it comes from, I don't know, but looks cool. We've got heat ready on the bottom right hand side of the shirt. On the left hand side we have the authentic. I'm sure this will be on all of the Adidas authentic products. I think it definitely looks better in the authentic because for, for some reason I think, I said before that the zigzags are the same, but I now tend to think that the zigzags in the authentic version actually are less predominant. They seem a little bit lighter than the zigzags on the replica shirt that's the front let's have a look see who i've got on the back bukayo saka number seven had to be done let's see what saka looks like up close because this the detailing is very cool i think it's very similar if not almost completely identical to the previous season's cup font. The numbers are slightly different now because I think they've added gold, gold outlining, and they've still got the, the dotted 3D effect as well. And then the cannon at the bottom of the number. And do you know what I've realized? I don't know if anyone else will have noticed this, but I am convinced, maybe I'm just wrong, but I'm convinced that that shadowing on the side of the number is in a zigzag format. Those dots are in a zigzag format. That's how much detail there is in this. I think that looks incredible. I never noticed that. I don't know if anyone else has or if it's just a coincidence. But that is, to me, that is definitely, definitely zigzag dotted formation down the side of the number to give it that 3D effect. I think the name is pretty straight on, I think. And the number looks set properly, so I'm very happy with that. Let's see if you can see it in the video, but the that kind of pattern only applies to the sides of the back, because if you look down the center of the back, those patterns disappear. So next to the name and numbers, 
those patterns disappear. And of course, we've got the same gold feature on the back of the shirt with AFC at the top. It kind of doesn't go with the zigzag patterns. That's what I. That's what I'm not quite sure about this one. I, I think it would have just looked better if it said AFC in gold across the back. I don't know if this is the same as the replica, but there's that kind of panel behind behind the sleeve and sort of underneath the sleeve. That panel is completely dotted and I think it's completely, <laughs> you can see through it. I think you'd be able to see through it. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but I think you can see through it. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, the mess they might have made with this uh, Invincibles record. So what they've decided to do is put all the W's and D's across the side panels and the the back panel that goes underneath the shirt. And what you'll notice is the W's and D's are for all the wins and draws in the Invincible season. And you'll notice there's not one single L. The only L um, is that I don't think they finished the 38 games. I'm gonna sit here and count. So if you just bear with me, I'm gonna count. I don't want to know if that's the case. You can see the dot is where the season starts and the dot is where the season ends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two. I was right. It was thirty-two games that someone reported. Thirty-two games, not thirty-eight. So they're missing six. Let me just show you in a bit more detail the W's and the D's. Personally, mm, not too fussed about it. Things to note for sure. Champions League patch, Arsenal finally back in the Champions League after a long time away and the badge is much bigger than I thought it was. It's the first Arsenal badge that Arsenal have worn at home that's monochrome. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe if you can and enjoy. Cheers Bukayo. Nice one. Take care.